Hey, you. Yeah, that's right. You. You you right there that's watching this video. Did you believe in Nature Shaman? Did, did, did you believe from the very beginning? Because there were a lot of people that told me, Clark Hellscream, Nature Shaman King, the Nature Shaman wasn't going to be playable. And not only did it get nerfed recently, but now there is a playable version of Nature Shaman with conductivity. I want apologies all over this comment section if you were someone that said that Nature Shaman was not going to be good. Because I'll tell you right now that when I was playing Nature Shaman earlier this uh, week, unfortunately off stream, so I don't have a lot of the clips from that stream coming up ahead. I do have clips coming up ahead that'll showcase the combo, but oh my dear lord, 15 and 8 with this list going into Legend. Eight and one versus warrior so where are all the warrior players that were gaining armor that were like oh nature shaman's not gonna work boo hoo i'm gonna feast on your tears and i'm gonna hit legend with my new take on nature shaman with jive insect that honestly i cannot take the full credit for this list there were a lot of other creators that were trying out different lists and then i tried what worked and then put in some of my own stuff but i gotta give a shout out to m Drugi as well as katakuchi from twitter because they are the ones that gave me the idea of actually trying to make jive insect work with conductivity and that is the main reason why this works in nature shaman is because this is exactly like the previous nature shaman except imagine jive insect is your bioluminescence that works with your jazz base now we have the, the possibility of doing it with or without the base the base makes it so much more easier to do the combo but now we have the possibility of dealing a regular nature shaman turn dealing like anywhere between like 15 to 20 damage to the face or sometimes 30 if you're lucky enough but the thing about this deck is that we don't care if we don't make it to 30 all we need to do is clear the board deal six damage to the face somehow which is really easy if you play two crash of thunders and then three ragnaroses from jive insect thanks to conductivity works insanely well and being able to close out games but you might be asking yourself clark hellscream how do we summon minions to turn minions into ragnaros well do you remember how pop-up book just got put into this expansion remember how i told you this card would find a way to be good uh, to in nature shaman but now there's a way to put it into a meme style of nature shaman and i will go ahead and say this is a meme not because this deck is weak or anything like that but there is another version of nature shaman that i've been wanting to test that is probably going to be better than playing jive insect so if you're wanting to play the perfect version of nature shaman go ahead and check out my top five video that i just posted yesterday the deck list is there and i will be making videos and clips with that particular deck when I actually have clips ready to go. But this is a legitimate way to play Nature Shaman that's honestly a little bit of a different take on the deck. Like, the one thing that really makes Nature Shaman interesting in this particular expansion is how how you deal the 30. You're not just gonna hold on to every single lightning bolt and every single pop-up book waiting for the combo to slowly emerge itself. No, you're gonna have to play for tempo. You're gonna have to, you know, use a lightning bolt on a minion that is going to be threatening you. Sometimes you need the taunts out of the pop-up book in order to give you a turn of survivability right before your flash of lightning turn because sometimes it'll be like turn four your opponent does nothing but play onto the board you need ways of being able to kill those minions and honestly cards like altered court might have a legitimate shot being in actual nature shaman list as a core card in order to deal with these minions that you will be seeing because this is not only a great removal tool but you need that sustainability and you need that healing in order for this deck to be good so lightning reflexes does have a decent amount of healing within the pool altered court as well as the elixir being the most obvious cards that you can discover so this deck has a decent amount of survivability and obviously it's got plenty of aoe's with the crash of thunders the random lightning uh, storms that you can generate but the real power of this deck is really just drawing cards controlling the board and then waiting to have that jive inset combo which is a lot easier thanks to the jazz base now granted this is a little bit of a wonky tech inclusion specifically to make the jive insect work i'm not really sure if you would run jazz base in the other nature shaman decks because it re there really isn't a spell that we want to discount that's why it makes a lot of sense in this deck because jive insect is a card you very much want to discount and maybe in situations where you haven't drawn your flash of lightning but you have the mana and the mana cheat ready to go then there might be some situations to where you can catch your opponent with some surprise lethals but the weakness of this card is very much being taken advantage of right now because there's lots of vipers there's glacial shards on the ladder the death knight freeze card like there's a lot of those cards that would be really good against this so i can understand why some people would not like the idea of jazz base 
However, Card Grader is surprisingly a lot better than I originally gave this card credit. I thought this would be the, the first card you would immediately throw out, and honestly, it is for the other Nature Shaman build. So this card's not like the nuts, but having it as a one of in order to discover, you know, a key combo piece, maybe discovering a minion that I need, like a zapper if I'm really in need of spell damage, there are some ways that Card Grader can be somewhat useful because it can discover any card in your deck, not just a spell or a minion. But the last card that I want to talk about in this deck is actually the Overdraft, because specifically with this deck, since you are playing Conductivity into Jive Insect, you're going to be overloading an extra six mana crystals. And if you've already got spell damage on the field, then suddenly Overdraft is going to deal like eight damage. So especially in like matchups against like Warrior, for example, it is very, very important that you utilize this card in the best way possible. And in order to sell you guys just on how good Nature Shaman can be against Warrior, here is a replay of the most impressive game that I had playing this particular list. And as you can tell, we got, we went up against a Warrior and well, Warriors do Warrior things by gaining a bunch of armor. It's really hard to showcase this without really getting in the way of something. But what I just want you guys to pay attention to is how much life he has at this point where he is sitting at a comfortable 64. And then suddenly I have this combo ready to go. I have Jazz Base equipped, which is already discounting a bunch. Unfortunately, the deck tracker is not showing how much it's actually discounted, but yada, 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 64, six, uh, 64. What is this? We dealt more than that. We dealt exactly 69. So I, unfortunately I was wrong on my claim in the video talking about how I dealt 74, but apparently it was 64 dealing 69, not 69 dealing 74. But still, dude, look at how impressive of a turn this was. Uh, just to go through the order, lightning reflexes into a flash of lightning, plays zapper into another zapper, flash of lightning draws into an elixir, which I immediately play, get a crash of thunder, play the blood mage. Now the cards are dealing plus three. So lightning bolt plus the other crash of thunders and the uh, the pop-up book is already a six, 12, 12, 18, 23 damage. So that's already a lot of damage. Then we have the overdraft that also comes into effect here. As we discover yet another lightning bolt and then we have another lightning bolt, I think. Nope. Okay. So what happens here is we throw all the damage. He's sitting at 32. Jive insect is going to deal additional 24 and we have the taunts that are going to get transformed. So we're not losing our spell damage. Those minions get transformed. I've already swung in my face. So now we play the overdraft. Overdraft deals 13 there, which again shows the power of overdraft specifically with this deck. And then boom, Ragnaros is end the game. Clark Hellscream, Nature Shaman King wins yet again. So if you are not sold on this deck now after seeing that particular combo in action, then I don't know what else to do because this is a meme deck that I was able to hit rank. Uh, I was about to say rank one legend. I didn't hit rank one legend. I did hit legend with this though, but somebody else did hit rank one legend with a different version of nature shaman so this archetype is legit you all owe me an apology if you were somebody that denied nature shaman because there's going to be plenty more videos talking about this deck and now i would like to use this last opportunity to talk about why i love nature shaman so much it's because we're seeing this deck evolve we're not just seeing a deck like token hunter for example where it's like oh yeah this is the perfect 30 and this deck isn't going to get any better nature shaman is going under some legitimate changes to where we're not running inza and golgoneth anymore and a lot of the decks we are running these specific cards that are helping draw the deck up a little bit faster. And it's just really interesting to see this archetype evolve and then actually become the perfect 30. This is what I love about Hearthstone. These are the type of decks that I enjoy because they're not just simple. They do evolve and they do get better. And it's about finding the best possible deck and maximizing what we are seeing and coming up with the best optimal build so we can have the best games in Hearthstone. Like we can settle on a regular deck and then just keep getting mad whenever we lose against the new decks that emerge, or you can adapt with the meta and you can evolve your deck in the process so that is why i love nature shaman why i will continue to make videos talking about this deck because it's just super fun i love this archetype and how it's evolving right before our eyes and if you like this too you should be subscribed you should be liking the video you should be commenting checking out patreon doing whatever it is that you want to do in order to help support the content because anything that you do really does help us out here on this channel so thank you so much for making it to the end of yet another nature shaman deck guide there's gonna be more in the future and you guys owe me apologies if you didn't believe and we'll see you for the next video have i thought about nature shaman with melomania no melomania is way too hard of a card to uh to control and i don't think you have enough minions i don't think you have enough minions in order to justify it little uh deck roulette i see i mean we're, we're we're testing decks right now it is technically a roulette but we're not changing every single game we're more so testing the grounds of these decks we're testing the grounds of these decks and we're gonna see like which ones are actually good 
What did he pull with a double rat? Uh, he pulled Boom and Zilliax. So, I mean, he did pull a win condition, technically, but it wasn't like the win condition. All right, here we go. Give me some good stuff. <coughs> All right, before you guys are like, oh man, Nature Shaman again, Clark Hellscream. Now, hold on a minute. Look closely. Look very closely into the deck. Look very closely. Do you guys understand? Oh, here we go. Here we go, dude. Yes. Droogie, I hope you're still here, and I hope you're taking notes. Because I think that Jazz Base is infinitely better than Card Grader. Like, as soon as I saw the list, I was like, what do I sub out for this? And then I was like, wait a minute. We overload a lot of the deck. Why not put Jazz Base? We be vibing to the cool jazz. Damn right, dude. You gotta let the music do the magic. Gotta let that music do the magic. Otherwise, what are you doing? Is it always just Insta Flash next turn? Isn't this criminal lineup with extra step? I mean, if you think about it, it's criminal lineup with one less step, actually. Um, actually, sir. Uh, it's one less step and uh, uh, conductivity. Oh, honestly, like this entire deck is really cheap. That's why. It, that's why it works. We're just gonna get in a, um, in a position to knock that out next turn. Cause the trick with this deck is that you have to deal six to the face and clear the board. Cause you got twenty four from the Jive Insect very effectively, very easily. Haven't heard this song uh, since uh, NS uh, NF SMW. Wait, what is that? I'm a big Mastodon fan, but I have no idea what that acronym is. This is definitely my favorite Mastodon song, though. You don't pick the walks. I think it's too soon. Because first of all, we don't have conductivity. Second of all, we don't have jive. Yeah, this seems like the play to me. Don't need all the spell damage in the world. Although next turn, is it a flash? Cause like I do have Flow Rider. If Flow Rider could find the Jive, we are chilling. But I st I need I need either the conductivity or the Jive before I pop it off. I think Need for Speed most uh, most wanted. Is that a record? Wait, Need for Speed most wanted, or is that a show? Need for Speed most wanted. Oh, it's a video game. Okay, so need oh the Need for Speed. Okay, all right. So it's like Midnight Club and Burnout, but it was EA. Okay. It's a game, dude. I mean, I, like I said, I never played Need for Speed. I played Midnight Club and Burnout when I was a kid. But now that I now that I looked at the EA title, it makes sense now. It's coming back to me. Wait, Burnout was EA? Oh, then I'm just dumb then. Then ignore this dumb streamer who has no idea what he's talking about. You don't pick the walks. Speaking of no idea what he's talking about, I'm gonna go for it. Keep on panning. All right, reflexes. So, did I do this too soon? Might have done this too soon, but it's also important for me to do this for tempo, so I can still just keep drawing to the deck. Need for Speed Underground was insane. Uh, good question. There's a lot of games I missed, unfortunately. I feel I feel like Need for Speed was a game that I saw at other people's houses, but I never played it. I always played Burnout, Midnight Club. Uh, my brother was a big Tony Hawk Underground player. I played a lot of Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts, and like uh, RPG fantasy games. That was kind of what I played a lot of. That and platformers. I played a lot of platformers too. Spyro, Jack and Dexter, those sort of games. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you think that's going to stop me? Burnout 3? Yes, Burnout 3 was the GOAT. Crash Bandicoot? Yes, I did play that as well. I was, I was a, a, a PS2 guy for the longest time. And the reason why is not because Lamau Xbox versus Microsoft or anything, or Xbox versus uh, PS, uh, PS2 or anything. Wait, Pierce the Veil? Wait a minute, that's not the band, is it? Nah, Pierce the Veil. For a second, I was like, wait a minute, they don't have a, they don't have a Twitch account. There's no way. There be no way, bro. Well, there's the conductivity. I don't think we have lethal, but... I will not be 
überrascht. If I could have cracked the weapon, I would have had lethal here, dude. Oh my god, Crusher is such a good card. If he freezes my face again, I think I can actually override the weapon and still get there. Because I'll just have to think about it, like, the, the, the Jive Insect is essentially three mana. But I have to play more Overload cards, actually. I haven't overloaded enough. Let's just hope that this is enough to, to create a wall. I was playing a Rainbow DK, but everybody slapped me. I got a new Rainbow DK brew. Don't worry, I got a new list. She said there was no way. Psyops the mind, uh, mind Gate Conspiracy go to PS2 game. Sly Cooper Gex. I, I watched friends play Gex. I never played Gex. Sly Cooper does seem familiar, though. Why does that seem familiar? What is Sly Cooper? Oh, okay. Like Raccoon Dude. Um, I don't think I ever played that game, but the character design does look, does look familiar. Oh, are you kidding me, dude? Uh, Should've just held on to the flash. Keeps freezing me is the only reason why he's surviving, bro. Oh my god, you lucky, lucky, lucky child, you. He literally has, he literally doesn't even know. Literally doesn't even know how lucky he is. Wait, one, zero. Speak to me. One, zero, one. One, zero, one, four. I only, have, I only have two minions, it's not three minions. I will not be rushed. These things happen. Yeah, it is what it is. <sighs> I'm so- I want to win this, bro! I want to win this, bro! I want to win! The room the frickin' win- oh wait, do I finally get it? Wait. Wait, is this lethal? Cause I can- I can hex this. Wait! He's trying to- he's trying to find a howling blast! So this is free when I swing the weapon. Four, five, six, seven. I have eight mana left. He's dead, as long as he doesn't freeze me and get lucky with the- with the card. No Howling Blast and we win. Hurry or I guess technically, okay, technically Crop Rotation would do it too, but it doesn't look like he's got it. Otherwise it would have Insta came down. Dude, it's over. Oh my God, the Jazz Bass. Dude, the Jazz Bass actually makes all the difference here. My Don't even care, honestly. Okay, hold on a minute. No. No. Dude, there's no way. That feels good. Is this is this still enough? Wait, three, four, seven. I think it's still lethal. The Nature King needed the power of fire. He needed the power of fire in order to s destroy the power of frost. Oh my god, dude. The, j the jazz base completes this deck. Because you can have moments that are, you know, a little bit lower. You can have a little bit lower excitement moments and have the music carry you, you know? You so money? Well, here's the thing. It's available for free. Voice me the bananas available for free. So Lord all you gotta do is just look up some tutorials. And honestly, Drippy, problem. that's exactly what it takes to be a content creator. Can you Google questions? Uh, and like this, like an actual an actual skill. Can you Google questions and actually find the answers? Then you could do anything within content creation.
like any like any skill online there are tons of tutorials and tons of um uh channels out there that literally just make you know a bunch of different content showcasing how to do different uh, di different things it's it's so useful man that's the only reason i've learned video editing it's not that video editing is hard but you gotta know what your tools do much like a painter needs to realize what the, what their uh, their palette holds, you know. I meant money is in your good at stuff. No, no, I know. I was making a joke. I know, I know. I was just making a joke. Okay, this is an awful start. Uh, awful start, by the way. This is actually terrible. This is so terrible. Oh my god, it's just so terrible. All right, sorry. I'm gonna turn off my phone so that way you guys don't think that your phone's notifications are going off. Okay, hold on a minute. Wait, you choose to do this instead of doing the good play? What? Da -da -dum -da -dum. Mm. Am I scared? I'm a little scared, not gonna lie. But in all honesty, dude, all I really need is just like, I just need the jive. And we've got it. We actually just have to roll it. Dude, we could literally just kill him. Nice. Dude, he's, he's actually so scared right now. Saw so King Kong, Godzilla, and New Empire, Kung Fu Panda 4. Oh my god, you saw all the new movies. I only knew about King Kong and, Go and Godzilla. I didn't realize there was a fourth, King Kong, uh, fourth Kung Fu Panda. How dare you, bro? How dare you? That actually ruins my potential lethal, you absolute mongoloid bastard. I hate you. You high rolling son of a bitch. All right, let's, let's high roll lethal then. He's at 23, that is so easy to kill from. Oh my god, this is so easy to kill from. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. We just start with this. Dude, it's just so easy. Five. Ten. Go with the flow. I'm going for lethal. I will not Ah, uh, it's not lethal, is it? I need one more damage card. So because we didn't roll the damage card, we gotta do it this way. I mean, dude, this still like, imagine if- uh, God damn it. Uh, if I'm gonna just draw more cards, just focused on the Chive Insect combo, dude. I mean, he needs an AoE. This deck doesn't play AoE unless he gets the mag for, for three. That Why didn't I hex the, the Zilly? Because I didn't want to hex it. I wanted to kill him. If we if we hex, then we admit that the rest of our play does nothing. I'd rather hex post uh, post combo. Miss the mag? Does he miss the mag? It's hilarious how how it's literally the only card that matters. And that's a GG. That's a, that's that that's a GG. That's a GG. I didn't even I do the combo, you. but that's a GG. Nice try, butt munch. Trying to take my freaking weapon away with your viper. There's a very important plot that you can't skip. Jack Black still brings it to the table. All the kung fu uh, movies, uh, one through three, are great. Three is the best one. See, three usually meant, meant the best. Back in the day, if you could make it to three, that was always the good one. Because it, it used to be that movies would progressionally get better. I remember being a kid being so excited for movie sequels. I remember those days, man. Yo, what's going on, Bard? Dude, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, we have a child. Wait, what? Nine months. Nine months? We have a kid? Uh, okay, um, so this is what I'm going to do tonight. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna go to the grocery store at 11 p.m. to make sure that we've got plenty of milk and eggs. I'm totally not going to buy cigarettes, and I'm not going to go to the casino and gamble all my money away and win and then meet a hot babe and move to Tahiti with her with that hot babe and then I'm just gonna make a new life actually. In fact, I'm just gonna tell you. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move in with this woman that I just met in Tahiti. Uh, all right, you, you cool? You cool? You got the kid? All right, you got the kid? Sweet, awesome. All right, Clark, I got, I got Clark Hell Scream things to do, I'm sorry. I can't be raising children right now. I got, I got, I got things to do in Tahiti, bro. Yo, but seriously, think of the nine months, man. Always great uh, to have you in chat. And uh, yeah, we have a kid now. Oh my god, I gotta, I gotta be, res I got responsibilities now, man. Uh, you think it's ever doable to kill him from here? 
I think it's doable. I'm missing a couple of pieces, but regardless, we have to do it this way. We'll save the second flash when we actually have all the pieces. Dude, he's scared. I'm not gonna lie. This warrior is shitting his pants right now, dude. I would be. Deadpool 3 will be great. Deadpool 3 will be very good. Deadpool 2 was a bit of a meh. It had some things that did well, other things not so much. Dude, I just need conductivity. Dude, I like legitimately have a chance to win here. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Turn 5, frog lethal. I just need conductivity, bro. All I need now are, are Crash of Thunders. one crash all i legitimately needed was one crash and that would have been good but here's the thing brawl can low roll brawl could very easily low roll hmm. you know what i could have done didn't i throw a pop-up book to his face i should have just focused on clearing the minions the lightning bolts definitely need to go face but i think i threw a pop-up book to face when i shouldn't have but then again if that three didn't go there then he'd be at one if the rag would have hit but it looks like i mean dude this is still winning though the fact that we had a possibility of winning by turn 5 with this combo. This is just the way to make Nature Shaman. You have to put Rag in it, though. But the Jazz Base with a Jive Insect just works perfectly. I like how all in this deck is. It's very much all in. Do it and get rewarded, or your opponent has one AoE or a Brawl, and you're like, damn, that high roller. I get to take myself out of the equation every time and just focus on playing the combo. It's actually beautiful. We're about to go 3-0, and we actually have a shot against Warrior because we can kill him by turn five. <laughs> yes! This is the picture shot that can kill Red. That can kill Warriors. What is conductivity for? Conductivity works with Jive Insect. <laughs> that's, how, that's how those three rags are on the field by turn five. I don't want to keep the other cards without the uh, the flash. I was really debating on keeping um, flash uh, or keeping uh, the lightning reflexes, but it's probably a bit too much. I love a little fiddle. Speaking of going all in, I'm going to Vegas at the end of the month. To, uh, wait, to go to the sick new world uh, metal festival, dude, mansion. I gotta find my, a way to get over there. I need to hang out with my buddy. I need to hang out with my with my with my metal friend. I haven't been to a metal concert in years, dude. Like, uh, okay, so I headbanged for two songs at one of my Indigo gigs, and I woke up with neck pains the next day, dude. No I don't know if I can go as hard as I used to with the neck with the neck banging, or with with, with the head banging. My neck just can't handle it anymore. All right, just ignore him. I can't really do much about this. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm old man hell scream now. Yep, yep, old old man hell scream. Has too many problems bending the elbow now instead of bending the, the neck, you know what I mean? That has way too many different connotations. <laughs> also, lull order. Lull order on these trades depending on uh, if he has a rush card or not. If so, then these took unnecessary damage. Clark's gonna be so mad when Blizzard realizes they gave him the good RNG and they switch it back to his usual RNG. Nah, man, I, I found a meta breaker. All right, y'all y'all are just mad that I found the meta breaker. That's all I'm hearing. Okay, need to do this because we have to survive. However, it does suck to get rid of our taunt card. Next turn, I'm probably gonna have to lightning bolt the one three. Hmm. Nah, it's just play. It's just play crash, or just play flash. I'm wondering if you can win with no base. You could. Pull, you could definitely win with no base. I mean, Nature Shaman is already winning games without it. But if you're gonna run Jive Insect, it just makes sense to run the base, right? 
All right, so we're gonna get hit a little bit. Maybe it's just maybe it's just this actually. No, we're taking a lot of damage. I think I have to play the flash. It just really sucks to do this and not have the base. Four, six, seven. I'm actually wondering if I can greed this. I think I can actually. And the only reason why I'm greeting this is because I've got the elixirs. I could just heal five, then play flash. And then we've got a whole tempo turn because like this really isn't that good, a, a good flash hand here. We just have to stop the burst from getting out of control. And like, we've got, essentially got 10 healing, right? So it's like, he needs to kill us pretty, oh fuck. Okay, that was really good. Oh shit. Now that's a problem. Well, hold on a minute. Wait, is he board locked? How much damage is this, is this though? I mean, I do have healing, so. We should be fine. 5, 15, 15, 20. Oh, we're probably not fine, actually. Oh, no. I'm, I might have... Uh, mm. Yeah, 10 healing, making all the difference right now. I'm just literally dead to three damage in hand. Bananas would do it. Is that what that is? Bananas? Fuck. <laughs> Dude, he went from like seven to 20 attack in one turn. Oh man, I mean, even, even, it, dude, I just should have, I just should have fought for tempo. I just should have fought for tempo, dude. That's all I needed to do. If I would have fought for tempo and if I would have just, if I, I just, I shouldn't have risked it against the fucking hunter, man. I, I lost against the, the, the easy dum dum class. All right, got the jazz base. Let's try this again. Bolting the buff card also would have been a better play. Yeah, I think I agree Like it, that 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 game came down to how we played our cards and it was not good. But at least against a death knight we got plenty of time I wonder if there's like a way to like just do like the regular combo where it's like you deal like 40 And then you have like the rat combo on top of it. So this deck could very easily go back to doing like 60 damage, right? There's like a possibility and now we got Jazz Base and the Double Knowledge. Like, dude, this is just... I hate to say it, but this really is the definition of Solitaire. It really is the definition of Solitaire, but it's just so damn fun. I'm sorry. I can't help myself. I'm having too much fun playing these decks and, and winning. But I guess with, with Rainbow DK and having the weapon, it's just a surefire way of having a bad time if they have the right cards. Kind of want him to kill this. Never lackey, bro. Do what the living cannot. Do I just dare go for it? Cause I I want to I want to be fancy and I want to showcase the combo. Speak to me. I've got two shots to try and find conductivity. But that's like the issue with this deck, man. Like, there are so many times like I go fancy and I just need to play good tempo. But it's like, what if he plays weapon? If he plays weapon, then I play this and I'm also screwed. So I should just do this and just take the other draw. Oh, come on. All right, we, ha we have to do it now. We gotta do it now. Viper? Doesn't Nature Shaman insta lose if, lose if the opponent plays Steaker Stomper on the flash turn? I mean, most likely now, yeah. My hand is full. Honestly, I could just get rid of the Thrall's Gift. The wand picks you. Okay, whatever. Lul order. I guess my next draw is not a bad one, but... Oh shit, don't discover the weapon. He got the weapon, bro. He immediately got the weapon. Insta weapon. Insta pick frozen weapon. Oh, what? So it's GG. Because even if you get lucky and hit the fucking Frost Plague, which you didn't even hit, it's just GG now. The weapon was the only thing that mattered. Okay, hold on a second. Oh, it's so, it's Omega Turbo over. The storm is in me. Uh, 
dude, this deck actually deals more damage. And I didn't even play the Blood Mage. I didn't even play the Blood Mage, dude. How many turn six lethals have I seen this stream? Dude, this was possible on turn five. This is actually possible on turn five, but I decided to wait and be safe, but I got lucky because my opponent didn't get the freeze weapon. Freeze weapon would have would have stopped us. This deck's even more consistent now with the with the with the jazz base Ragnaros combo. Cause jazz base is just such a good turn three. But you kinda need the, the damage overload now. You just need the damage overload because like it goes from oh this deck's only gonna deal 30 to like oh fuck there are three rag oh they're hitting me in the fa oh I'm dead oh yeah that's how that matchup goes bro that will not happen I guess the priest too dude this deck needs to be played more though and this is definitely the list though a hundred percent this is the list priest is auto win not necessarily uh dragon priest could probably give us trouble. Dragon Priest could 100% give us trouble, but this is looking like an overheal Zarimi Priest. Not, not, not aggro tempo dragon. I don't really think I have to worry about overheal unless they hit the nuts or if they tech a Speaker Stomper. Which I will admit, Speaker Stomper does kind of beat us now. But if I, if I anticipate a Speaker Stomper, you could maybe potentially save Double Flash. That's a pretty big maybe though. Alright bro, at some point you're gonna have to kill these totems. I just love Nature Shaman. I love I love how many iterations this deck is going through. That's why this deck is just so fascinating to me. It's a puzzle. Find the best deck. Oh my glory. I smell gold in their waters. I hate to get rid of all my cards like this, but bro, he's, he, you gotta do something. If you're really just gonna, okay, there we go. I got, okay, I got the good cards. I got all the cards I need now. I'm not, I don't even care if I overdraw anymore. Okay, well, I kind of care because I need conductivity. If I can get conductivity and if I can get minions, then we're fine. The stream is so chaotic with the music in the background. In a good way, right? You mean chaotic in a good way? As in it's well EQ'd and you don't need to have your 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 stream or your uh your tab be that loud, right? Because if anything, dude, I feel like streamers are way too quiet nowadays. Like yeah, I'm in the red, but it sounds good still. You know what I mean? I will attack. So we just do this, we knock this out. I think we go so far as the lightning bolt this, because we just don't want him to have draws, and we're gonna I, I don't even care about too much draw, dude. The only thing I care My about is milling is conductivity. Flowrider was technically a way of getting conductivity, but worst case scenario, we've got these. So it's like we're overdrawing our deck, but this dude is like, I'm gonna die. This guy is just I is just fearing death nuke. right now and finally clearing my board. All right, so he needs to have a speaker stopper. Otherwise, there's just no way. We'll find it from reflexes for sure. You see, you say that now. You say that now, watch the deck do its thing and just fail me. But I've also, I got a lot of discovers for it. There are a lot of discovers for it. Alright, come on, conductivity me, dude. Alright, we got a lot of discovers for it, but we also don't have a pop-up book. So, hold on a minute. Is this gonna backfire? No, I play Speaker Stomper anyway. Um, I saw a Speaker Stomper today, so that's not true. It was milled from the deck. It did not get played, but there are some people, and this would be the one one of the decks that would play it. Is that it? Light nope. All right, sweet. And the impure fall. So do we have the OTK? Maybe this is just a spell damage OTK turn. We've got, we've got 13 damage. And if we don't find conductivity, can one rag maybe just get there? Dude, finding 30 for this deck is so easy. I really wish we had like a Radiance or something so I could make my uh, Elixirs cost zero. I'm not gonna lie, dude. This is quickly becoming my favorite deck of the expansion. And it's not just because I'm winning with it. It's because Lamau, Nature Shaman, how does it win without Bio? We've, we've proved in like three different decks now. And some people still don't believe.
My hand is full. Ooh, those are bad, but they, these are minions, though. The storm is in me. There it is. So it's lethal now. Guaranteed. This, this is so beautiful. This combo is just so beautiful, dude. It's just so beautiful, man. And you know what we also could do? You could theoretically put an overdraft in this deck, too. So that way you can utilize the, the six overload that you get from the rags. There's like maybe actually an argument for one less ancestral knowledge for like an overdraft or something. Overdraft maybe could be a main a main uh, cut in this or a main slot in this deck. Yo, Asterix coming in with the tier one and the follow. I'm assuming that you just came over from YouTube and these games will be on YouTube. So if you're in the Twitch channel right now, check out the YouTube channel. And if you're in the YouTube channel, then check out the Twitch channel. You know they all, they 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 all help support your boy. So. Support the Nature King and his time of breaking the game because there are a lot of people that are saying Demon Hunter is unkillable. I'm not seeing Demon Hunters right now. Just saying. <laughs>